lovely friends welcome back to create and cook with jimmy so today we are going to make jollof i have here red bell peppers onions cherry tomatoes i have some ginger and garlic jalapenos i have some big tomatoes big juicy fresh tomatoes and then we are going to use some herbs so i'll go ahead and put on my parsley and then my cilantro with some herb gel and some fresh rosemary on top of it and we are going to bake this at 350 degrees for about 30 to 45 minutes just add some oil and then we'll bake it so this is everything. so this is everything after baking so you can see that everything is grilled and then you get the flavor that you want that's the grilled flavor so let's just go ahead and add some oil and blend it you see that when you add oil and blend it will give it a creamy look you just go ahead and cook it till it becomes really thick while our grilled vegetables is cooking, let's just go ahead and spice up our pork ribs. So let's go ahead and add any spices of your choice. We will add some paprika powdered peppers. And then we'll go ahead and add some salt, oil, and rub it up. We'll cover it with a foil and put it in the oven for 45 minutes. 355 degrees for 45 minutes. And you will see the outcome. go ahead and make our stock so with this stock i have some onion carrots and chicken skin i peeled off the chicken skin to use for this and i'll go ahead and add some maggi and onga and i'll cook this for about 15 minutes and blend it and this is what we will use for our stock that we will put on our rice after cooking this we'll just go ahead and blend this you know it tastes really good because of the chicken skin and the spice with We'll just go ahead and add our onions to our oil and stir it a little. We'll just cover it for about 5 minutes till it's cooked. Just take a peek at this sauce. This sauce looks super delicious. I threw in some bay leaves while it was cooking and this sauce is good. Let's just go ahead and add our tomato paste about 2 tablespoons to our onion and then let's just stir it up a little bit we'll go ahead and add our monkosh and our fish powder i love adding monko and fish powder to my jollof because it gives it some kind of taste and the flavor is so good it smells super super good and delicious we'll just go ahead and add some onga stew to it and you can add any spice of your choice stir it a little bit and then add our sauce that we made our delicious sauce so after adding your sauce just go ahead and add your rice and then you remember the stock we made that delicious stock just go ahead and add this stock to this trust me this jollof recipe is so good your family is going to love it and they will bother you to make it every day just let me know how this recipe went in the comment down below i would love to know what you added what other spices you added to it and then just let me know how it went okay don't forget to subscribe and always create and cook with jimmy so let's cook so now we'll just go ahead and cook our jollof rice so let's put it on medium heat or like four or five for about 45 minutes or two however you want it some people want it hard some people want it soft so let's cook jollof is cooking let's take a peek at our pork ribs this ribs was so delicious it looks so good and now our rice is done guys look at this rice it tasted good now just look at this you have to try this try this and let me know thank you so so much for creating and cooking with jimmy i really enjoyed cooking and eating this jollof i hope you try it at home and let me know down at the comment below thank you